Ah, GTA. Now with all the disappointment that the new GTA on PS5 is going to be still GTA 5, let me just show you a history lesson on Rockstar in the past generations. Yeah, it's true, for the PS2, 3 GTAs were made, but for GTA 5, 3 consoles were made. But still, Rockstar has a thing for porting their games on each generation, and it's not a bad thing. The only bad decision Rockstar has made was that after everyone was eagerly waiting for the next GTA, they re-released an older game. It's like receiving a birthday present, something that you already have and don't really need it. Even if it's useful and you appreciate the gesture, still, you already have it. But yeah. Let's get a little bit in the small history of GTA ports, not on the PS5 and not on the 360 and PS3, which I've already covered in another video, but on the PS4. So going on the PlayStation Store, you can notice that the 3D classics are there, except one, GTA 4. I hate to see that GTA 4 is so underappreciated, I love the game, and replayed it over and over and I will still play it even today. I know that Windows Live ruined the game on PC, or well ruined is too dramatic, but it made it more inconvenient. And from what I've read online, it seems that the game engine was too hard to program to be able to port it on PS4. And that theory might be true. I mean, just look at what games were ported on PS4. We've got PS2 games. The PS4 has an inbuilt PS2 emulator. It's not like they did any tremendous effort to port the games on PS4. They just slapped the original game and that's it. But if they were to port GTA 4, it would have meant to rebuild the game, make it compatible with the PS4, and that would have been an effort. But yeah, back to the games you get on PS4. As I said, you get the 3D classics and GTA 5. You get GTA 3, GTA Vice City and San Andreas. They aren't remastered or remakes, they are the very same PS2 games. The menus are the same, the graphics are the same and even the choppy frame rates are the same. On GTA 3 and Vice City, honestly, some remake would have been a good thing. I mean, the games run kinda choppy. They are still GTA, so they remain masterpieces, but still, some improvements wouldn't have hurt. At least in San Andreas, I'm really glad to see that they kept the PS2 version, with that sexy yellow tint. Unlike the atrocity they did on the 360 and PS3 to port the mobile version. At least here, you get the original PS2 version, that looks the best out of all of the versions in my opinion. Some anti-aliasing would have been nice in the game, I mean the game starts to look dated, if you look at it closely, but it's still as fun to play as ever, especially if you grew up with the game, then it will always remain a masterpiece for you. And GTA 5, you know the game, it's so popular I don't really want to review the game. It wouldn't be that useful to you. But let's stay and appreciate some improvements the game brought. First off, GTA 5 has a checkpoint system. I really love this in a GTA game. In past games, if you failed in a mission, no matter in which point of the mission, you had to make the walk of shame, or the drive of shame, or the flight of shame. Anyway, you had to go back. And in some missions, like for example the train mission in GTA San Andreas, where you had to go half of the map back, it was a big deal. But now you have a checkpoint system and I really appreciate it. Also the ability to switch between characters is amazing. The ability system is also very useful, especially with Franklin and his slow motion abilities when driving. And the attention to detail in GTA 5 surpasses any game we've seen before. I could be talking all day long about how great GTA 5 is, but in 2020 you've most probably already played the game, so I'll stop. Oh, and about the other GTA games, like for example GTA 1 and GTA 2, they aren't on PS4, and not even Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. I don't know why they skipped those, I mean they are PS2 titles too. They could have just slapped the games like they did with the other ones. I have no idea why they weren't released. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.